Hello viewers, welcome to another session of my pharmacology series. So today I'll be discussing about the adverse drug reactions. So the how to as to the top the this topic I have basically made it much simpler or easier in the exams as to how we can very easily write a paragraph as to how we can very easily remember see what are the adverse drug reactions. So particularly the adverse drug reactions are classified alphabetically. The major emphasis what I have been giving over here is the alphabetical classification, the alphabetical order in as to how we can very easily remember the adverse drug reactions. So the adverse drug reactions are classified alphabetically as follows. So first A, alphabetically we are going to proceed. So first the first alphabet that is A refers to the augmented pharmacological effects. So the augmented pharmacological effects, they are use, usually elicited, which are very, uh, they are dose dependent. So augmented pharmacological effects, they are most importantly, that is they are dose dependent. So they can be viewed upon into the three subheadings. First, effect the pharmacological effect what can be seen is in the form of side effects which occurs at the therapeutic doses so whenever a drug a drug is administered there is going to be certain some or the other side effects it is always going to have so the side effects particularly occur at the therapeutic doses now the next augmented pharmacological effect is toxicity so toxicity always occurs when a drug is administered at a higher dose. So toxicity refers to at a higher dose. Third, the augmented pharmacological effects is the intolerance. So certain patients, they are going to have certain uh, intolerance towards certain drugs and intolerance, it particularly occurs in certain patients that is toxicity which occurs at the therapeutic dose. It is called as intolerance so intolerance it is also it is the it is the mm, condition when where toxicity is going to occur at the therapeutic dose now the second alphabet the second adverse drug reaction first we have completed the second adverse drug reaction is the bizarre effect so bizarre something it's very unusual or which cannot be predicted such things are called as bizarre so the next adverse drug reaction what can be seen is in the form of the bizarre effects so bizarre effects these are non-dose dependent I mean to say that the second adverse effect that is the bizarre effects they occur at non they are non-dose dependent so these can be broadly studied or broadly categorized into the drug allergies so the drug allergies are basically classified into the four types first type the type 1 which is the again I have made a mnemonic that is again we are going to proceed the drug allergies can be looked upon again in the form of an alphabetical order that is A, B, C and D. So the drug allergy, the type 1 drug allergy which occurs is known as the anaphylaxis. The type 2 refers to the blood cytolysis. Type 3 that is the immune complex mediated. So complex mediated refers to the antigen antibody mediated reaction and the type 4 that is the delayed hypersensitivity reaction. So these are the bizarre effects which can be seen during an adverse drug reaction whenever there is an adverse drug reaction. So I have covered the again in the alphabetical order A we have completed that is the augmented pharmacological effects. The B I have covered the bizarre effects. Now moving on to the, the in the bizarre effects, well, the condition which is called as idiosyncrasy. So actually what is idiosyncrasy? So idiosyncrasy can be defined as particularly the abnormal effects what are seen. So the idiosyncrasy can be studied under the bizarre effects only because these are certain abnormal effects. Examples include the CNS depressants, depressants they cause causing certain kinds of stimulation so certain there are certain bizarre effects can be looked upon in the form of idiosyncrasy also so idiosyncrasy is again one another type of a bizarre effect now moving on to the next alphabetical series that is c so 
augmented pharmacological effects we have seen, the bizarre effects we have seen. Now moving on to the third alphabet that is C refers to the chronic effects. So chronic effects can be, uh, these are, can be summarized or looked upon in the form of that is they are duration dependent adverse effects of prolonged treatment. So chronic effects, no, it, we can very easily understand this concept in the form of that certain when a drug is used for a much longer duration of time or if it is used for a much longer period of time so the chronic effects can be seen in the form of adverse drug reactions so viewers examples of the chronic effects can be seen the best very common the best example can be seen in the form of corticosteroids causing immune suppression so already in my previous videos i have made it clear that corticosteroids they are treat in they are used in the treatment of a wide variety of medical conditions and they have a very wide range of therapeutic uses so the chronic effects which are very commonly seen the chronic effect again that we have the mnemonic that is c for the chronic effects can be seen in the case of corticosteroids c for chronic and c for corticosteroids which causes immunosuppression now moving on to the next alphabet that is d so d can be looked upon as the delayed effects so when a drug adverse drug effects can also be seen uh, certain delayed effects can also be seen as a form of an adverse drug reaction. So the adverse effects long time are manifested long time after stopping the drug. So viewers, delayed effects in the adverse drug reactions, delayed effects are manifested if a, after we stop a drug, the adverse effects which occur for a longer period of time are called as the delayed effects. So the after the cessation of the drug, when we stop a particular drug, certain adverse effects are manifested. So these can be looked in the delayed effects. So example of the very, uh, very famous the delayed effects can be in the form of the carcinogenicity and the mutagenicity by the anti-cancer drugs and radioisotopes. So carcinogenicity and the mutagenicity by the anti-cancer drugs and radioisotopes are just the very common or the very well-known example of a delayed adverse drug reaction. So up till now I have covered the four alphabets that is A that in the adverse drug reaction that is A it is the augmented pharmacological effects, the B, bizarre effects, the C, the chronic effects and the D, that is the delayed effects. Now moving on to the another alphabet that is E. So viewers, this E uh, can be again the next alphabet is the E, that is end of treatment effects. So viewers, adverse effects due to abruptly stopping the drug. So, we have seen the chronic effects, we have seen the delayed effects, now we are looking at the end of the treatment effects. So, end of the treatment effects, these are usually manifested in the form of an adverse drug reaction when we suddenly or abruptly stop a drug. Alright, so example, the very famous example for this category is the withdrawal syn syn syndrome with clonidine. Now, moving on to the next alphabet, that is the Next alphabet F of the um, adverse drug reactions, that is the fetal effects. So in the fetal effects, we can see adverse drug effects, adverse effects on the fetus depends upon the time of the maternal drug intake. So viewers, uh, the fetal effects are usually manifested during the first half month if the fetal effect is going to be uh, manifest, it manifests in the form of an abortion. If a drug is having certain kind of an adverse drug reaction, that too in the first half of the pregnancy, it can lead to abortion. So the next, the second category, if an adverse drug reaction occurs during the first half to the two months of pregnancy, it can be teratogenicity can be seen. And the third, if a drug is going to, a fetal effects can be seen if after two months onwards, any kind of a, um, adverse drug reaction during pregnancy, two months onwards, that is after two months of pregnancy, can lead to the development of an abnormal 
growth and development can occur so viewers this was my analysis or the short trick as to how we can very easily remember the adverse drug effects adverse drug effects in the form of alphabetical series that is a b c d e and f a the augmented pharmacological effects b the bizarre effects c the chronic effects d the delayed effects e the end of treatment end of treatment effects and f in the form of fetal effects viewers this was uh, my way as to how we can very easily recollect the adverse drug reactions viewers if you do like my video don't forget to subscribe my channel and do press the bell icon so that you can be further updated about my newer videos. Thank you for watching.